Argentina amongst the favourites to go all the way in the World Cup, given their form of late, 30 games undefeated. Their last loss, you have to go back to 2019. Of course, they won Copa America in the process as well. Uh, you look at the World Cup odds, look how the bookies have them set, mm. 10 to 1. Uh, Brazil are favourites, France, England, uh, Spain, <laughs> Germany. Uh, so Argentina coming at sixth favourites. 10 to 1 looks quite generous, doesn't it, Ali, for a side that have got so much good form going into the tournament? Absolutely it does. And if you are a betting man, as you are, Dan, uh, this is good value for Argentina. Look, Argentina has something that most other teams going into the World Cup do not have, and that is a team structure and a team identity that is well-defined. For many years, the shortcomings of Argentina were, well, we're going to give the ball to Lionel Messi, and he's going to figure it out for us. Now, there is a concept of teamwork around Lionel Messi, which he's obviously a key contributor. He's still a critical part to Argentina. But the things that are going around him and the structure of the team defensively, the work that has been done through the midfield, and then the options in the attack around Lionel Messi, not just depending on Messi, but around Lionel Messi, make this team the complete group that they are. And that's why they should be favorites going into the World Cup. Certainly not six favorites, much higher than that, I believe. What do you think, Don? Oh, I don't think much higher than that. Um, I think Belgium are a better side, for sure. I know form says Argentina are in a good run of form, but I just wonder what they're like once they get to the World Cup and how they perform and the pressure that's on Messi. Belgium are old. They can't defend. We've been here, haven't we, with Belgium I, before? I would, I, I would take Belgium in a World Cup final against Argentina any day of the week. Right, million dollars. There it is, Don. That's the bet. <laughs> good. No, I just, I just, we've all watched Argentina over the World Cups, and whether it's a pressure thing, whether the players who play for Argentina can't live up to Messi standards, which is understandable, obviously, I just don't see them winning it, Dan. Right, but why is the standard then Belgium? Yeah, because not Belgium either. <laughs> because they, if, if there was ever a picture of a team that has come up short in, in big competitions, the golden generation has been Belgium. So yep. that cannot be the standard. Nope. If Don had used any no, other team, higher. maybe, but, mm -hmm. but Belgium is not the standard. Nope. But on that graphic there, Belgium are slightly outsiders compared to Argentina. I would have Belgium more favourites than Argentina. Not to win it, but certainly I think they're a better side than Argentina. <laughs> Gab? I, what I struggle with is when people bring up the record, and believe me, I'm well-versed in impressive unbeaten records, because, <laughs> hey, look, that's what, that's what Italy had for oh, a very oh, long time. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> the there it is. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> <laughs> these records, these stats, are kind of goofy, because you're talking about games that take place, what, over the past two years? Things change, things happen. You're talking about games that take place over the past two years with groups that they go with their club sides, they get together for a week. If it's if it's ball, they have to play like three games in eight days and they jet off again. These aren't normal conditions. These aren't tournament conditions. These aren't World Cup conditions. The World Cup is eight months away. Uh, it's going to be played basically in one city in Doha, in one teeny tiny city. We're in totally uncharted waters so i think all the records all of what all this came before unbeaten streaks whatever 31 wins whatever it is it's all frankly goes out the window and all that matters is who's fit are they producing and how talented are they there and viewed through that lens yeah i think argentina are going to be among the the, the favorites along with you know, what a long way to get to that answer gap that can't win it <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> hey, but when you brought up the records, you know how I feel about these Fugazi statistics that span 10 years. I was waiting for you to say they won't make it past the group stage. <laughs> Gab, Gab's got a lot to get no, off his babe, chest, I mean, This is the same thing, right? So they beat Argentina. It's an official match, but it's really a friendly match because neither Argentina nor Venezuela have anything to play for. So how do we judge that versus something else? I mean, look, it's, it's silly. The world, this World Cup is going to be unlike any others. And we just have to accept that and, and bear that in mind when we make our predictions. It's also, bear in mind, Gab said it's easier the second time around. That really <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Is Gab still talking about Argentina? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> God, I think it's, it's all right. There's a bit of hurt there. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and, of course, ESPN FC seven days a week, subscribe to ESPN+.